In this video, we're gonna try out the top foods to eat in New Orleans, Louisiana, next on Jaycation. Hey, what's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to a video here in the New Orleans series. Today, we are gonna try some of the must-try food around New Orleans, and we're gonna go around the French Quarter, Bourbon Street, of course. We're also gonna hit up areas over at the Garden District and other parts of town. So let's start off over at the Garden District, try ourselves some gumbo, some po'boys. You're gonna get it all here. Some of the best Creole cuisine in the world. We're near Magazine Street here in New Orleans and we're trying the first spot out and this is Joey K's. We're here on a Saturday. We're gonna have some lunch and try out my first dose of New Orleans cuisine in six years. So since we're a local here in New Orleans, I had to try the Nola Blonde as my first drink. With the weather being as nice as it is right now, this is the perfect drink to get you refreshed. It goes well with a po' boy. So, cheers. For this video, we're gonna have a Louisiana food expert right here, man. Hey, my name is Toby, I'm the Cajun Traveler. We're in New Orleans, and we're eating some of the most traditional New Orleans food. We're just coming off of T-Bex, Travel Blogs Exchange, in Lafayette, Louisiana, which is where I live. We're on two hours away. We're with 10 other expert bloggers. We're about to chow down on some fried chicken, red beans and rice, macaroni and cheese, jambalaya, shrimp pudding, boys and of course draft beer nice and this place has been here since 1989 we're in the garden district and I think it's like about a six mile stretch of like antique shops bars restaurants and some amazing houses and some cool cemeteries too yes yeah so um, there's plenty of stuff to do here it's only two hours away I've been coming here since I was three or four years old just like Lafayette this place is known for the food and the music we got a Saints game tomorrow so it's gonna be live yeah Yep. Festivals almost every weekend, a lot of history here. So it's my favorite thing about being here though is to come in and eat the New Orleans food. And he got the fried chicken. The fried so chicken, red meat rice. We're gonna have, you, we're gonna have you dig in, man. Enough <laughs> talking. You're in. Crystal hot sauce. Um, That's New Orleans. I so we're gonna put this in my shrimp po' boy. She, but we also got she, the jambalaya with the shrimp and chicken and, go and sausage and, and then also some red and beans and rice. Bruce. Let's dig into that red beans and rice. Too. I think Anne Frank's house was one of them. Nothing like it. I love the taste of red, red beans and rice. This is typically a meal that you get on Mondays, like a Monday special. You want to clear out your, your system for the weekend. You get the red beans and rice. Like you said, it's, it's very smoky taste to it. A little sweet to it. This is also a big That's yummy. Uh, Small quarters, she said, man. We're staying in. Uh, they got a Let's smoking room, tobacco outside, if you want. Um, so a little tip about po' boys. When ordering a po' boy and they ask you if you want it dressed, dressed means you get tomato, lettuce, pickles, mayonnaise. That's basically what it means. So when they say dressed, you'd be like, what does that mean? That's exactly what that means. So they're shrimp and sausage and chicken gumbo. That's a three in one. And when you get the combo, you get a half of a po' boy, either roast beef or shrimp. The red beans kill the red beans, but this jambalaya, just as good. Throwing the crystal sauce on it definitely complements it. Educationer, so that was Joey K's. I do recommend getting the combo, the best of both worlds. You get the shrimp po' boy, along with some of the three-in-one jambalaya, shrimp, chicken, and pork, uh, sausage, and also some red beans and rice. So let's move on to the next spot here in New Orleans. All right, Educationer, so you made it to the Bombay Club. Now it's New Orleans food with a Bombay Indian food twist. So you'll see some tikka marsala around here. Right outside, we're greeted by a band and we were in the Uber. It was just like a wedding party coming by. We're real near all the partying here in New Orleans. So they practically have a mixture of like Indian slash New Orleans style dishes. They got gumbo, they got meat pies, 
We got shepherd's pies, tikka masala. Yeah, we're gonna try out a bunch of that and also have a couple of cocktails. And we're also a block away from Bourbon Street, so there's a lot happening around the streets here. So this restaurant is within the Prince Conti Hotel. We're gonna start off with the Blackout Bramble, which is muddled blackberries with gin, lime juice, crushed ice, and a couple of other things. I'll list it down below. Cheers. Certain part of it. And you get that little blueberry taste with the gin and some lime juice in it too. That's a tasty cocktail. It's cold. Your hand will freeze. We are at the Bombay Club in New Orleans, Louisiana. Being from Lafayette, in my blog, Cajun Traveler, uh, we typically don't choose to eat gumbo anywhere outside of Acadiana, which New Orleans is not in Acadiana. This is duck and andouille gumbo. Where I'm from, we have two things that you do not do with gumbo, and it is you mixing sausage and chicken, or duck in this case, with seafood. We keep our seafood gumbo separate from our chicken and sausage, or chicken, duck, and sausage gumbo, as in this case. It's always served with white rice. At home, we do not put tomatoes in our gumbo. There is a large red object right in here. I was told that the gumbo here does not have tomatoes in it. It's something that you could find in New Orleans restaurants. This could possibly be some type of red pepper as well. This will be my first time having gumbo in a very long time in the city of New Orleans. Love the city. Love the food here. I do not come here for Cajun food. And so I ordered Indian food for my main dish. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's some kind of pepper. Sorry. Okay, it's not tomato then. Oh, that's that looks like a tomato. Try it out. Yeah, it's not tomato. First, I say no. That's interesting. <laughs> This is a Natchitoches meat pie, and it's got tamarind and date chutney, and this is Natchitoches, and Cajun Traveler said he went to school over there, so let's try it out. Woo! That's hot, Daddy, hot. <laughs> hot is hot. And temperature hot or spicy? No, like, temperature hot. It's got a nice little sweet and savory spice to it. This is pretty tasty, actually. I like it. Good. This is delicious. You got the sweetness to it. I'm excited to try the shepherd's pie. Mmm. You just gotta blow on it and cool it off a little bit because it's piping hot. Piping hot. Also got a botanist gin and tonic. They don't mess around with how strong it is here, guys. I'll tell you that. Loving it. I got the shepherd's pie. It's got braised short ribs, peas, carrots, whipped potatoes, onion gravy, and English cheddar. I'm gonna have to dig in, man. <laughs> you guys had smell of vision it tastes like a I know it's not a cookie but when you have like a perfectly baked cookie hot off the oven it tastes like that but with the texture of bread pudding and you got caramel it's amazing mm. wow there's even toffee pieces in it this is to die for <laughs> This is not your normal buffet style bread pudding that you get in Las Vegas. This is some classic, classic bread pudding. Mm. This, this will wake you up and get you
Mr. Ready for a long night in Bourbon Street. For sure. Irish coffee. Alright guys, I gotta watch the rest of the game. We'll move on to the next place on this list. We're ending night one here at Bourbon Street. We had to go to Pat O'Brien's classic spot, been here many times. Got the hurricane. Oh dude. It tastes like Hawaiian punch, but it's gonna hit you in the face early in the morning tomorrow if you're not careful. So I'm gonna slow down on this. It's a Sunday, so that's the line for Cafe Du Monde, but this is the OG one, what everybody sees on TV. Now there's a place called Morning Call that people swear by here. The locals love it, and there's also another place called Cafe Beignet. So those are two local options that you can check out, but this is the most popular, most famous one. And you've seen it on Jigation before, but it's been six years, so why not go back and try out some awesome powdery beignets. All right, guys, it's been six years since I've had had these beignets. Got the one with the most powder in them because I'm all about it. Doesn't matter what time of day, this place is open 24 hours. It is tasty, but with a coffee, cafe au lait, mm. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Nothing beats the taste of that dough. And then the subtleness of the powdered sugar where it doesn't make it too sweet. Yeah, powdered sugar just does it. What we're going to do, we'll be walking the streets of New Orleans and the French Quarter. We're going to go to different places. Those guys are waiting for us, chairs and tables and waters and all that. Uh, the first place we're going is the French Market. The French Quarter has plenty of great eats and they do offer food tours. And we're gonna be taking a food tour with Laurent with Destination Kitchen. And we're gonna try some of the sip sites and bites of the French Quarter and Bourbon Street and the surrounding area. A lot of people have came here and brought a lot of different flavors to the city. The first one here were the Native Americans and the French arrived in 1699 and uh, they brought the techniques and flavor from France. Officially started the city in 1718 and 1719 the first enslaved people arrived here in New Orleans and they brought with them what we call okra and okra in African language is spelled N apostrophe G-O-M-B-O and gumbo. So N gumbo okra from West Africa becomes the gumbo soup of New Orleans. Pretty cool, huh? We're now headed down towards the French Market District. We're gonna have to try some of the local cuisine here. Now over in this area, you can find a plethora of New Orleans cuisine. They got holy crepes over here. This place is literally called Best of New Orleans, and we're gonna try some of the food from there. And yeah, there's a bunch of stalls, and they also sell shirts and souvenirs. They have tables over here, and it's right outside the French Quarter and almost to Frenchman Street. First thing we're trying is alligator sausage. Now we've seen a few gators over at Avery Island in Lafayette area. Let's try this. This tastes like a normal sausage. It's pretty good. Got a little spice to it, a little char, a little pot. Unless you told me it's alligator sausage, I wouldn't know. It'd just be like a normal sausage. Throw some mustard and some sauerkraut on this thing. It'd be a normal sausage to me, but it still tastes pretty good. Mm. I was, no, I put a Tabasco on here. The Italians are hardworking people. They work here all day. They don't go home for lunch. And on the way to work, they stop by a place called Central Grocery. And Mr. Lupo uh, Daly is Italian. He is making sandwiches for the guy. And it's called the Muffaletta. M-U-F-F-U-L-E-T-T-A. So the Muffaletta is a big round sandwich. The bread is like focaccia type of bread. And on top you have sesame seeds. You got to have three meat and two cheese. Ham, salami, mortadella. Swiss cheese provolone and on top of it we could we put here what we call the olive dressing green olives with the pickled vegetables olive oil and garlic all that chop chop on top of the sandwich okay so here the sandwich is made by uh, Alberto's and those guys are really good they uh, put the, the cheese and they put the sandwiches in the oven and also they make the dressing the salad dressing fresh every day all right so I got the muffaletta sandwich here and like you said it's an Italian sandwiches for the Italian workers here that used to go to a market and pick this up. I've heard a lot about this. Let's dig in. There's olives in here, for sure. Nice mix of meats and cheeses. We got the focaccia bread. That's really good. Once again, something I'd put hot sauce on. <laughs> the bread's got sesame on it. Almost like an Italian sub, but on this certain type of focaccia bread. 
breakfast before noon, but I got my strawberry pina colada, my Miami Vice. We're over here at the Market Cafe. They have a nice little area where they have music, but inside they also serve po' boys. We've already had shrimp po' boys, but we're gonna try one more here. Heard it's really good, and it's right next to the uh, market that we just had lunch at. That's good. So we're having some gator bites here. Gator meat is a lot more lean. Super good though. Very lean, a lot less fat. That's really good. I love gator bites. Check out Hot Sauce Heaven over here. Hot Sauce Palace. I'm trying jambalaya, gumbo, and some oysters. I've been eating so much today, but we're gonna power through this. I'm already excited for the uh, oyster. Yo. Mmm. You get this cheesy, charred oyster consistency. Mmm. You could also put your hot sauce, your Tabasco on this too, but this tastes just good without anything else. All right, guys, I've made enough room for the uh, gumbo here. Let's go for it. Ooh, there's like a smokiness to this. Mm, this is really good. If my stomach wasn't overpacked, I eat the whole thing. Mm. So welcome to New Orleans School of Cooking. By the way, those guys do great cooking class here, hands-on and uh, demonstration. So like I say, if you want to learn the food of New Orleans, that's a great place. I also offer, if you want, I do cooking class too. If you want to fly me where you are, I'll come and cook for you. Those guys do a lot of uh, spices and herbs and products and uh, cookbooks. If you mention you're on a tour, you get 20% off. So if you want to do a little shopping, you're welcome, okay? Here, we want to get the praline, the fresh praline. So, by the way, we say praline, not praline. Okay, guys? Pra. Praline. It's a French word. Laurent took us all around the French Quarter. Thank you so much. You're a great you tour guide. You had a good time? You, it was fun, huh? You educated us so much about the food here. You know, and so people want to come to New Orleans, come and uh, book a tour with us. We're at Destination Kitchen. And uh, what we do, we take you around the city and we talk about food and, you know, all the po' boys and uh, oysters and, yep. and shrimp and, you know, all that good stuff and gumbo and jambalaya. And myself, being a chef, I love to share the stories about cooking and yep. how you make things and uh, it's fun. Yeah, thank you, Laurent. Come to New Orleans, have a good time. Yeah, merci beaucoup. De rien, thank you All so right. much. You guys have good. Bye. We're here by the warehouse district and this place is called Merrill's. It's actually named after Emeril Lagasse's daughter, Merrill. And it's a restaurant that has a menu from all of his travels, his favorite foods. So it's a mixture of all that stuff. And I haven't been to an Emeril Lagasse restaurant since like 2004 when my little brother was still a baby and we were in Orlando and City Walk and apparently Emeril's over there isn't open anymore. But just down the street is the original Emeril's. But let's try out his newest restaurant, Merrill's. All right guys, went with a gin and tonic. Just your simple Hendrix. This is a chew. Good start, and we uh, started off with ordering a plethora of appetizers, so we can see a nice little mix of what Emerald's favorite foods are. This is turkey neck. I've never had turkey neck in my life, but so this Asian traveler over here says you gotta try the turkey neck. Matt, where is the meat? So you gotta pull it with your fingers. Turkey neck. So you gotta get down and dirty. Yeah, you gotta get down and dirty. All right, what am I doing with this? You gotta. Yeah, this is all bone. Man. Yeah, no, you gotta feel it for the meat in here. And if anything that's soft, yeah. can't you just pull it out? Yeah, you definitely can. Sort of split it. It's like a rib. Now you're eating a rib. That's like curry, kind of curry. Yeah, yeah that's Good. a sauce. Very lean, like turkey is, right? This is what I put in my gumbo. I put about 12 of these in a pot of gumbo. Wow. Smoked though. Smoked. Okay. These are fried. These are fried, yeah. Fried and, fried and smoked. But by the time they cook in, cook in the gumbo, then you can pull them out and it's soft and the meat falls off the bone. Even more than this. That sauce tastes really, yeah, really good. Really surprised to see this on a restaurant menu because it's very bony. 
Hardy oh, yeah. so deviled egg explain. with caviar. So get, out, get out there and find some mm. bra uh, it Tastes like a potato salad, but it's a deviled egg. Really so good. all and they do is they take the, the egg and they boil it and they take out the yolk uh -huh. and mix mayonnaise and mustard ah. and mix it together with the yolk and then they put it, so stuff it back, back in, in and that's a deviled egg. There you go. Very and, simple. And you get that colder consistency like a potato salad. Yeah. 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 What was this one? We eat it like a sandwich, like a taco. Wow. That's better than P.F. Chang. Good. You know the P.F. Chang? Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. That jalapeno? That's my favorite thing so far. That's a winner. Tuna with the cabbage and the jalapeno. This is the Urban South Holy Roller Grapefruit IPA. I still haven't tried this local brewery here, so why not? Well, it's like a lighter, tasty grapefruit hazy. It doesn't have like a deep, juicy tone to it, but it's pretty good. Probably like in the lower 6% range. I like it. I went with the steak and treats and they asked me if I wanted to put seafood on top of it and since we're in New Orleans why not and it was either shrimp or crab haven't had any crab yet so there you go <laughs> they really do stack up that fries so we're gonna share sharing is caring so, you want some man take, take some of that oh yo that's some good sauce too Get some crab with it too, why not? I would have taken medium rare too. I like it. I'm definitely feeling this. Burn it out. Mm. Worcestershire. Yeah, hey, Worcestershire sauce, yeah. What? Is it cilantro? Cilantro on the steak? I uh, hope not. I'm not a big fan. Worcestershire is good though. Get it brother's crab. And the Brussels sprouts. Cheers. Mm, what's that? Mm, crab meat. I cannot stand it. I, I, Does it taste like soap? <laughs> golden fish fries. Genetic thing. I've read that. All right, guys, we're gonna try out their key lime creme brulee. They got blueberries, raspberries. Let's try it out. The creme has the key lime pie taste to it. That is tasty. That's, really tasty. That's a really tasty creme brulee. Wow. Y'all gotta try that. If it's your birthday, they'll bring out some cotton candy with some sparklers on it. That's pretty unique, having a nice little uh, cotton candy there and some sparklers for your birthday. So I had to take you guys to a brunch spot and this is a really popular one off of Royal Street. This is the Court of Two Sisters. And look at that line right there, just to line up right before opening. It's about nine in the morning and they're just letting people in right now. Let's try out some brunch, maybe a couple of mimosas. Let's go. So this is a jazz brunch buffet, open at nine. They have a huge courtyard here, and it looks really fancy, and it's nice out here. A little windy, it's not cold though, but I'm excited to try out this brunch buffet. So they have some andouille sausage and bacon, some veal, you got your grits over here, red beans, rice, and Cajun jambalaya, and Cajun Traveler says that this Cajun jambalaya, this is exactly how it looks over in Cajun country. Now Oh, I heard red beans are for Mondays, so remember that. Ooh, turtle soup, never had that before. Gonna have to try that. Chicken and a gumbo, more red beans, scrambled eggs, grits. Is that grill, grillades or grillades? <laughs> Cream spinach, corn chill, garlic potatoes, glazed sweet potatoes, some bread, Cajun jambalaya, hash browns, and do a sausage and bacon, glazed ham, bread pudding, and some bananas foster to end it. And then over here you got some pecan pie, an assortment of other pies, brownies, even have some ice cream over that way. And then you got your salads, potato salad, chicken salad, tuna salad, and then some shrimp cocktail, and assortment of sauce over there. They also have an omelet station here, 
but since we're in New Orleans, I wanted to try everything that they had in the buffet area. Turtle soup, the cream and spinach, hash browns, potato salad, garlic potatoes, sausage, and the shrimp with some lemon. And of course, we're gonna get the Tabasco sauce in here. Had to get the mimosa here. Beautiful jazz music playing in the background. Awesome courtyard. This is a really nice ambiance. You're gonna wanna check this out. And I'm sure it's really nice here at night because they have lights all over the vines here. Bon appetit, let's try this out. Let's start off with the uh, potato salad. Yeah, I think that's a mix of carbs in here. Cream of spinach. I wonder if that's it. That's what's up. You got the cheese, spinach. I love it. Look at that. Let's go for the turtle soup. This is really good. Turtle soup. I should have got more. I'm going back for seconds. Wow. It kind of has like a gumbo taste to it, but it's not. Obviously, it's turtle soup. It's really good. We have roux based. There we go, we got confirmation from the Cajun Traveler. <laughs> Definitely roux based. <laughs> got the mimosa here with the orange. Oh yeah, we're drinking a couple of these while we're here. She just garlic mash. All carved up. Now we got some sausage. Mm -hmm. The hot stuff. You know. I, the hot I stuff. Ate, you got it. Yes. Peeling the shrimp. Getting some of that lemon on there. Sassafras. That's what's up. That's the winner. All right, let's go for round two. Round two is pumpkin pie and vanilla ice cream because that tapped me out. All this, this you guys see what I've eaten so far. Whew. Mm, can't go wrong with vanilla ice cream and pumpkin pie. Let's finish this video off at my favorite char-grilled oyster spot in the world. For the finale, we're gonna go to my favorite spot that I've been salivating over since I went here back in 2014. I went again in 2016. They have the char-grilled oysters, they have raw oysters, they have an amazing bar where the bartender made me some like cinnamon toast crunch shots. This is Drago's at the Hilton near the Riverwalk uh, outlet collection area right across from View New Orleans. Let's get some oysters and celebrate the rest of this trip. So we're about to eat raw oysters and char grilled oysters at the world famous Drago's in New Orleans, Louisiana. And so the traditional way for eating or uh, preparing cocktail sauce. So it'll come with ketchup and horseradish. This is a healthy set of horseradish right here. So this is gonna have some pop in it. Typically I'll squeeze one half a lemon into the cocktail sauce, a dash of or two of Tabasco, and then a Lee and Parents Worcestershire sauce, a couple dashes of that. What I like to do is take the other lemon and squeeze it on top of my three raw oysters. I prefer saltine crackers. Never seen this brand before, but it doesn't really matter. They're saltines, and you take your oyster fork. People think that the bigger oysters are better, but that's not really true. If you talk to an oyster connoisseur, really the medium to small oysters are usually the, the tastier oysters. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to miss out the flavor of the oyster. Love it. Mm. Nothing like that. I'm doing it the Cajun Traveler way with the crackers. Let's try this out. Oh, I love the kick of the horse riders. You can still taste the oyster. Mm -hmm. And that's just the raw one. We haven't even cut to char grilled yet. So what I really like about this place is that you can watch them. They have an open kitchen. You can watch them prepare it over there. We'll go check that out a little later. For this, I'm just gonna do it the classic way I usually do it. I just do the uh, Tabasco and some lemon. Right, let's go for it. Char grilled oysters. Oh, that was worth the six years. That was worth the six year wait. Mm. My goodness. Wow. Need some more bread. Thumbs up. Bread right here. And it Dip it in and the oil. The rubber band it soaks up the taste. They had to put up rubber bands around, or they would pop open. So to keep them close. 
I mean, you can tell the difference. Once again, two nights in a row with the Hazy Juicy IPA, the Voli Roller from Urban South. I had this over at Merrill last night and it was really good, so we're gonna pour it in a cold glass. Came with us to the dungeon, right? Earlier today? Oh, that's very juicy. You guys know I'm a hazy guy. This goes great with the charcoal oysters and this artichoke soup. Never had an artichoke soup. Yeah, it's gonna be a completely different feel. And that is tasty. One thing I love about Drago's is that they have an open kitchen and you can watch them make the charcoal oysters. And it's such heaven that I had to go for round two, so we ordered another dozen. Round two. I'm eating a total of 15 cool. oysters. Monday night, you can go see jazz. All right, I'm ready to go back to San Diego now. So we're having a cinnamon toast crunch shot. This is more of a uh, something nostalgic for me because I had this six years ago. If you watch my food video from six years ago, me and Justin try this out. So we're gonna take a cheer. There goes New Orleans. Yes, Last sir. night. Last night. Back. 2022. Savor this one. Not bad. It does taste like cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast crunch, right? All right. One last plug, man. Where do we follow you on Instagram? The Cajun Traveler. C A J U N. The Cajun Traveler. And on YouTube, same thing. The Cajun Traveler. If you guys are liking this video? Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Right here is the Mississippi River. It's an amazing view. Have you guys seen my ripoffs, tourist traps, and scams in Las Vegas? Well, check it up right here, and we'll see you guys over in the next video. And that's it from New Orleans. Until the next video, stay traveling, Jaycationers. Let's go!